So making who wanted was actually an honor for me. See, when Coach K hit me up and said, hey, can you make us a theme song, a field entrance song? That was an honor for me. And this is something he probably don't even know. But growing up, he was that athlete, that football player that I looked up to, that I, I modeled a lot of stuff after. Down to the point where he had a nickname. He used to write on stuff that said Lil Big Man. So back when we had the AOL chat rooms and stuff, my name used to be Lil Big Man 22. And I got that from him. And it was one of them things because he always played with heart, played with passion. When I say he always did it, I've known him since whew, grade school. I was in kindergarten with his sister. He graduated with my sister, like elementary, middle, high school. We all went to the same schools. And I always looked up to him. When I was younger, the doctor told my mom I had dwarfism. They said I was going to be short. So I watched him as a player that was small, but had a lot of heart, never backed down from a challenge, approach everything with the confidence and the passion, knowing that he could be successful no matter what. So the song Who Won It honestly was like life coming full circle. And now I could pay homage to the person that I modeled so much after. So it was way deeper than just a song for a Little League football program or for a flag football program. It was me finally getting to pay a tribute, pay honor, respect to the guy that I modeled so much after. Shoot, even the Little League football program, Hampton Tornadoes, that I played for. I got out there. He was one of the players out there. I used to hang around him because he was, I'm saying, my, my older cousin, Rocket. They used to hang out together, so I used to be around him. I used to see a lot, see how he maneuvered. Coach put him anywhere. So as an athlete, I wanted to be able to be put anywhere. So whatever coach asked, he was able to get it done and got it done at a high level. No matter what the size was, the heart was way bigger. It was like imagining seeing who Steph Curry but Shaquille O'Neal's heart. Going out there, Steph Curry doing stuff that Shaquille O'Neal does. So that's what it was for me, seeing him do things. So it was an honor. So I'm grateful that he even reached out, thought enough of me to ask me to do the song. But yeah, so who wanted? it? You can go stream it everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube. Tap in with the little rascals. See what they have going on. It's bigger than El Paso. This is global. They grabbing attention, making a statement. It's a statement that's here to go for a long time.